Ladies, I want to help you understand and clarify something. I know that a lot of you are led to believe that in order to gain muscle, that you need to go into a bulk or a surplus of calories, meaning that you would gain unnecessary and unwanted amounts of body fat. I understand and appreciate how challenging that can be for women because I've been there and done it myself. I remember going into a bulk previously after dieting and really, really struggling to lose the body fat after. Really struggling with my body image as well because I just got to a place that I felt really, really good. And I know that there are so many women that feel like that too. There's a big misconception that you need to gain unnecessary amounts of body fat in order to get strong. And that is just not the case. You can actually gain muscle whilst you're in a calorie deficit, albeit minimal, uh, but it is possible. So I wanna help you understand the ways that you can gain muscle, get strong, get toned, get lean, whilst maintaining your body fat. And that's one thing that's really, really important to me uh, is reminding you and helping you understand how and why that you don't need to go into a calorie surplus in order to gain the muscle. So first of all, is it's important to understand, obviously going into a bulk, into a surplus of calories, which is where we gain body fat because we're eating more food than our body uses in a day, is an effective way of gaining muscle. However, what you then need to do after is drop the body fat because it's highly likely that you did that, you end up quite unhappy with the amount of body fat you're holding. Albeit you would have gained more muscle, but you also would have gained an abundance of body fat that you now want to lose. When you go back into a calorie deficit, you are most likely to lose quite a lot of the, the muscle mass that you have just worked really hard to do. So it is counterbalancing. And what you have to do as a person is outweigh the pros and cons. Would you rather gain body fat and then have to lose it at the risk of losing a lot of the muscle anyway? Or would you rather take just a little bit longer to gain muscle while staying lean, staying fit, uh, and feeling comfortable in your clothes? So I wanna help you understand really easy ways for you to gain muscle whilst maintaining your body fat. So first of all, is it's really, really important that you actually still do track your calories for a good, good couple of days a week. The reasons being is one, you actually need to know how many calories you're consuming. It's really easy to fall into a calorie surplus, which is what we when we eat more food than our body's consuming, and that's when we gain the body fat. So keep tracking your food, especially if you just finished a diet, keep tracking your food. The advised range is between 14 to 16 calories per pound of body weight in order to maintain. Obviously, you'll need to get a feel for that, monitor your own body weight as well to see if you're fluctuating. If you're pretty stable and you're fluctuating between a kilo or two, we know that we're in a place where we're gonna maintain our weight, which is absolutely fantastic. The second thing that we wanna make sure that we do in order to gain that muscle is actually eat enough protein. Our bodies will not build protein if we're not eating adequate amounts of food, which is why it's hard to gain a lot of muscle in a calorie deficit because we don't have an abundance of food. Now, when you are maintaining, we definitely do. We have enough food. However, we need to make sure that we've got a really good amount of protein there. So what I want you to do is focus on having at least one gram to 1.3 grams of protein per pound of body weight. If that feels quite a lot for you at the moment, start at 0.8 grams per pound and then work your way up. One gram is the most optimal and anything more than that is obviously an amazing, amazing added extra. The next thing that we wanna do is actually make sure that we're training consistently. So we're not gonna gain muscle if we're not going to the gym. In order for you to gain muscle, we've got to get into the gym, we've got to lift heavier weights, we've got to push more reps, and we've got to progressively overload every single week. And that's where we're adding more weight or reps to the exercises we're doing. So create your workout, stick to the same exercises every single week, progress the weights, progress the reps over time, and that will help you actually build muscle in the first place, matched with your calories, matched with your protein, our body is gonna be able to recover, repair the muscle, and then the muscle is going to build. So now that you're gonna be training consistently and pushing yourself in the gym, eating enough protein and making sure that your calories are at maintenance, not lower, not higher, we now need to make sure that we're actually gonna monitor it in the right way. Now, one of the main reasons that you see when people bulk or go into a surplus is that they're chasing the scales to increase. This is mostly body fat. Most people would struggle to gain more than four pounds of lean muscle tissue in a year. It's actually a really, really a large amount. So the most important thing is actually to not beat yourself up if you don't see the scales increasing uh, or the muscle coming quickly. Most people actually fail to gain muscle because they just don't understand what they need to do to get there and also underestimate how long it takes to build muscle. Ladies, if you are in it for the long haul to gain muscle, you need to be giving yourself years in order to build that. And I know that that number may sound scary. You will see changes on the way. Of course you will. But most of those changes are probably going to come through your photos. So if you're tracking your calories at maintenance, you're maintaining your amount of body fat, 
take progress photos. You will start to see the shapes changing in your body. Film yourself in the gym so you can start to see the muscle coming through, but be patient. You're not gonna gain it in a couple of weeks and you're not gonna see it in a couple of weeks either. So we need to keep making sure that we're repeatedly going to the gym, making sure we're eating the right amount of food and getting that protein in, in order for those results to come over the year. The whole time you're getting stronger, your lifts are getting better, you're progressing weights and you're progressing reps, you are building muscle. It's just a, not an instant see like it is for fat loss. So I hope that this helps you. I hope this gives you a bit more information and understanding of why you don't need to gain loads of body fat to gain muscle and the things that you need to do in order to gain that muscle as well.